Hi everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to install MATLAB on a Windows computer and then to add on Arduino support for uh, MATLAB as well. And we're going to be doing it specifically with respect to the Grove beginner kit for Arduino. All right, so the first thing to do is to find out if you have access using your university or college uh, official accounts. So here I can send out an email uh, from the MathWorks to determine if my university has one. York does. So then from there, what we do is we create an account. I've already created an account, but you're going to have to do it as well. You want to use your official university or college email address, and you want to create a password uh, that's different than the one that you use for the university. Okay, so I'm going to use my official university email account to log in after it's been created. And I have to accept the online service agreement, etc., etc. And then eventually I'll get to the MathWorks main page where I can do the downloading. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for that page to come up. And here we are. All right. So from here, I can do a verification of the, the licensing. And uh, sometimes you have to go back and forth a few times depending on your cookie settings. Here I'm going to do the verification. It logs me in through the official login system at the university. Your college or university may have a different way of doing it. Uh, you'll have to check. All right, then, then I'm successfully verified and I'm ready to download MATLAB. So I go to the top right corner, it says install MATLAB. That will install a pre-installer. It will launch a pre-installer that will then connect to the MathWorks later to download MATLAB and all the packages we may or may not want. Okay, so the pre-installer is showing up. And I get it from the download directory, double click on it. This will take a while. I sped it up. All right, so again, I have to launch it. I have to log in using my MathWorks account that uses my official university or college email address. I specify where it's going to get installed. Just use the defaults, it's all good. And this is similar if you're installing for uh, Mac OS as well. It's basically the same thing. Some of the details are different, but the basic process is the same. In terms of the packages, we're just going to install regular MATLAB. We're not putting Simulink in, we're not putting these other things in. You can install other ones later on as you wish. Okay, so there's no need to install anything but regular MATLAB right now. I'm going to add the um, shortcut on the desktop. And now it downloads all the packages. This is the proper installation now. It's going to download all the packages that are associated with MATLAB, the regular version of MATLAB. It's still big. It's like four gigabytes almost. So you don't really want to install other packages if you don't need them right now. All right, so it's downloading, it's installing. It takes a while. Go get yourself a coffee or your favorite drink and come back. And then we're going to be ready to launch it and test it. Okay, so I've launched MATLAB now. I've just double clicked on the icon. And this is version 2022A. The installation is very similar to the previous version and version B will be the same. Now I'm gonna test it by typing in one plus one and hitting enter. Okay, so I go to the command window right here and one plus one, hit enter, and it should say two. That's it, that's the test. All right, so we now have a good MATLAB installation. The next thing I want to do is add on the package for the Arduino. So the Grow Beginner Kit for Arduino is basically an Arduino Uno with a bunch of other things attached to it. I want to put in the uh, regular MATLAB support package for Arduino hardware. It supports this. At least most of the, the add-ons um, for the, this particular board are supported. I hit install. Again, it asks me to log in. I use my MATLAB or MathWorks login here. And packages are going to download. All right. So again, I have to accept the software license. There's a lot of additional packages that the MathWorks brings in. And so you just get those to install. They come in. They get placed in the background. And now we're going to do the setup of the board. Okay. So the board's not connected yet. You don't want to connect it quite yet. We have to make sure that we have USB drivers associated with the board or for the board. 
the MathWorks will install or allow you to install traditional Arduino Uno USB drivers, which is good for most people. In the case of my particular class, we're using a board in here that has a different driver. Okay, so just go ahead and, and install that. Um, but we're going to have to install the other driver as well. When I tried to do this, it required me to click a bunch of times. Go ahead and do that. If it's really giving you trouble and you're just using the uh, Grove beginner kit, then skip that. All right, do I want to set up the Arduino board connection? Yeah, I could click on there. I want to say it's a USB connection. Next, and let's see if it actually finds it. It won't, but let's, let's imagine it was going to. I hit next here and here I would select that I want the Uno board because we're going to put a little piece of software on the board itself. Okay, it's called the Arduino server. So I chose Arduino Uno, but the port itself, the USB port wasn't found. So I have to go and get the driver for that particular board. I get it from the wiki site at Seed Studio. And I look for the install the USB driver link, this one right here. So I scroll down and there's a bunch of options. That's confusing. Um, and here I want the CP210X Windows drivers, the fourth option. And this is for Windows. For the Mac, you may or may not have to download those separately, but there is also a Mac alternative or a option. Okay, so I've clicked on the expansion option for the download, and now I'm going to click on the installer for x64, because most modern Windows computers are 64-bit. So I click on that. I say yes, yes, yes. Click all the way through, and now the driver for this board is, in a, is installed. And I should be able to choose the port, but it turns out that MATLAB needs me to back up. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect the board itself. So I need to take the cable out for this and plug it in. And so I take the micro USB end of that cable and I plug it into the board itself. And then I'll plug the USB A, the bigger end of the cable, into my computer. Now, depending on your computer, you may require an adapter from say USB-A to USB-C. Um, that's really up to you to figure out, okay? But in this case, I had a USB-A port, so I plugged it in like that, okay? And then the, the, uh, the computer recognizes it. I then go into the control panel, which you'll see in a second, to see if I can find the board and, and which port it's connected to. So I go a few devices, and there it is, COM4, okay? So now I'm going to select the UNO and COM4 and I hit program after deselecting the other options. Okay, and it does take a couple of minutes and eventually you'll see some, oh, you get the security warning right here. Say yes, allow access. This is for Java and MATLAB is written with Java, so we need that access. We wait and now we're going to see some lights flashing on the board. RX and TX lights. So watch your board, you'll see it happen. And this is when the software, ah, oh, there we go, right there. The software appears on the board that allows a connection between MATLAB on your computer and the board itself. All right, so now we hit next because we now have this little MATLAB Arduino server on the board. And we can test the connection as well. So you can hit test connection and MATLAB will report whether or not it was successful being able to communicate with the board. And you do that, and it should report that it was successful. There you go, just like that. And we're going to try this A is equal to Arduino port board command next. All right. But note that you can also look at documentation. The MathWorks has a lot of really good documentation available for you. And so now I paste in this Arduino command. This allows us to create an object called A that connects over COM4 to the UNO board like this. So I'm going to hit enter and you should see some flashy lights happen. But nothing else, nothing other than that. Now the next thing I need to do is explore how to write digital signals on the board. So I do help Arduino and I see write digital pin as a command. And this is what I want to do next. So I'm going to type it in. And I typed it in wrong. And so MATLAB tells me that I did it wrong. I want pin D13. 
which is the one that the LED is connected to, but I have to put double bracket or double quotes around it. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make that correction right here. So it's a comma D13 in quotes, comma one, and that will turn on the LED. So I'll hit enter in a moment, and you should see the LED on the corner of the board light up. It's a green LED, LED for D13, and it should light up. Okay, so keep your eye on that. Here we go, done. It's very quick. All right, now let's turn it off. So I rewrite the command, and I'm going to put a zero instead of the one. And then I'm going to hit the enter button again. And that green LED, labeled L, turns off. There you go. All right, working Arduino, working MATLAB.